T minus 30 seconds. T minus 20 seconds. T minus 15 seconds. 13, 12, green status board. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, main engine start. 1, 0, and lift off of the Delta II rocket with Dawn using ion propulsion to reach the catalysts of our solar system. The kick rate came in on time. T plus 25 seconds. The vehicle has worked its way nicely out of the transients of liftoff. Coming up on Mach's correction, uh, Mach 1, we've exceeded the speed of sound, and coming up on Max Q. The vehicle is now 3 miles altitude, downrange distance 12 miles, with a velocity of over 1600 miles per hour. To telemetry manager Mark Levine. Both furniers in the main engine chamber pressure still looking good. We're reaching solid motor burnout, the first six motors. And burnout confirmed. Jettison. Solid motor jettison. And we've ignited the air start motors. Air start motor chamber pressure looking good, all burning symmetrically. Both burners and the main engine continue to burn well. Very good chamber pressures there. And we see the usual disturbances at solid motor jettison. Vehicles recovered well. And we are now 19 miles altitude, 44 miles downrange, and 4 thousand miles per hour. Air start solid motors continue to burn well. Our next event will be a burnout. Solid motor burnout. And jettison. All three air start solid motors have jettisoned, and our LOX tank bi level relief reset did come in on time. I can confirm a greater LOX tank pressure. Now passing T plus 190 seconds. And uh, stage one guidance also came in on time. And the uh, vehicle uh, has recovered well from the air start solid motor jettison. The vehicle is now passing an altitude of 52 miles, downrange distance 207 miles, and a velocity just passing 97 100 miles per hour, and we can confirm the vehicle is tracking down the center of the range corridor. Coming up on T plus 235 seconds. Our next event will be a Miko Enable, and right now both Berniers and the main engine continue to perform well. See nice stable combustion chamber pressure. Vehicle body rates are nominal. We have our float switches and we have enabled MECO. 
Miko confirmed. Both Vernier, Vernier is still burning well. Miko. Main engine cut off. Stages have separated. And ignition. Stage two ignition. And we have a fairing unlatch and jettison. Passing T plus 490 seconds. Second stage continues to perform well. We're looking at uh, good body rates, normal chamber pressure, and we're now passing 102 nautical miles altitude. Getting pretty close to orbital velocity. And our next event will be a nominal SECO coming up in less than 15 seconds. We've reached uh, the second stage helium reg blowdown phase of operation and looking for a, a SECO. SECO. Hydraulic pump has shut down. Bleed down is complete. Both CRDs remain on. They will be commanded off next. We show a good SECO, and uh, I don't have the exact time, but it looks like a few seconds longer than the expected uh, predict. Our next event will be a restart. Ignition, we have second stage restart. Data quality looking very good over Dongara. All its jets did switch off, and our hydraulic system and return pressure still looking good. Seco. We've had SECO 2. Looks to be a few seconds longer than nominal. And our hydraulic pump did switch off. Bleed down is complete. And the Rax jet activity looks nominal. Our next event will be a third stage uh, spin rockets up and we should release our third stage any second now. We have spin up and separation, third stage separation. Tennant Creek also now. Our next event will be a startup and ignition of the third stage about 10 seconds from now. Also now giving us uh, data. Show good rates. A little bit of noise. We've switched tracking stations. Should be ignition. Starting to see uh, average levels of mutation as we approach burnout. Burnout. Tico. We uh, can confirm some NCS jet fires, and the mutation is being controlled. Past T plus 3,700 seconds. We have D spin weight and spacecraft separation. Showed a good D-spin uh, reaction and a very clean uh, separation signal. 
Dawn, you're on your way. Good luck. <laughs>